How you doing everybody? Tim here once again, View from the South Stands, coming to you on Sunday after Toronto FC's most recent uh, game. Uh, and uh, uh, to, I don't know if I'm coining a cliche, but I'm definitely going to be using a cliche right now, where the Reds of course snatched a draw from the uh, jaws of defeat uh, Saturday uh, against FC Dallas at BMO Field. Coming back uh, in the last five minutes of the game to score two goals to secure a two-all draw versus the week before where they actually snatched a draw from the jaws of victory, conceding late against the Los Angeles Galaxy with the exact same two-all scoreline. A uh, couple of things I want to actually very quickly talk about uh, uh, in this game, and I want to kind of keep this one short and sweet because I think there's a couple of, of, of very simple points I want to talk to. Uh, this was arguably TFC's first real, and I'm talking for the full 90 minutes here, the first real poor game uh, uh, of this season. Uh, I think the efforts in Vancouver and in Montreal, uh, and the home win against Kansas City, and the draw against the MLS champions Los Angeles Galaxy were arguably significantly better 90 minute performances than what we saw against uh, FC Dallas on Saturday. Yet that probably felt like a bigger uh, uh, victory, not a, a three-point victory, but a, maybe a moral victory uh, Saturday than any other game that this team has played all season. Uh, the team was outclassed and outworked, uh, I think, for 90 minutes. I think Dallas actually showed their quality. They are a very good side, especially when they've got the, uh, that rover, David Ferreira, back in the, uh, 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 back in the harness, and he's played, he played really, really well yesterday. Yet here we are, five games in, playing against probably the five top teams in the league, and Toronto FC has gotten results uh, in, uh, in three of those games, which is pretty outstanding. The Reds didn't give up yesterday. And when was the last time you saw a team uh, uh, from Toronto uh, wearing this, you know, this logo back here actually do that? I think uh, it was last summer uh, when Terry Dunfield uh, scored a goal. And Dunfield, I think, was missed yesterday as well. A lot of the Dunfield haters are uh, probably going to hold up the result and say, oh, yeah, we don't need that Terry Dunfield. Look how well we did. Uh, no Terry Dunfield meant uh, a real absence of, of grit and, uh, 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 you know, skill, defensive skill in that midfield that I think Dallas, especially David Ferreira and Blas Perez, were really uh, able to take advantage of yesterday. But the thing I wanted to specifically talk about in this post was I think yesterday is all down, well, maybe down to, uh, to Justin Braun uh, and Darren Russell. We'll get to those guys in a moment. Uh, uh, but I think it's down to Ryan Nelson and Fran O'Leary. Uh, the Paul Mariner teams folded up like cheap suits last year. The Aaron Vinter teams, I think, were outcoached uh, and outclassed uh, uh, in his time here for the most part in Major League Soccer again. Granted, uh, Mr. Vinter obviously had some outstanding results uh, uh, in the Champions League, which is some of the most memorable moments that I've had as a TFC fan, and I don't want to disrespect the man. I, I've got a lot of respect for him greatly, not so much for Mr. Mariner, but I think yesterday, uh, especially the way that the team played hard in the last 10 minutes, really spoke specifically to uh, uh, you know the approach that, uh, that O'Leary and uh, uh, particularly Nelson are actually preaching just play hard, be organized, uh, and uh, you know, run your ass off for the team and for the fans, uh, and uh, roll the bones and see what uh, see what may come. And yesterday, uh, a memorable draw uh, in uh, in injury time, almost injury time, actually uh, was the result. Uh, that uh, is significant progress. Uh, significant pro uh, progress as well, I think, is coming from the uh, significantly improved home record. Uh, again, we may rue the drop points to Los Angeles uh, uh, when the season uh, tally comes to, but there again, Kansas City, Los Angeles, and Dallas come to town, and if uh, I asked you guys back in March if those three teams were coming to town, if, if TFC would get a positive result, a draw is a positive result for this team anyway, uh, if I asked you that would you think that this team would get a positive result uh, in three of those games, I think uh, you'd probably say no. But here we are, five games in, five of the best teams uh, in the league already off the schedule. Uh, uh, Houston is a tough game coming home in a couple of weeks, uh, but the schedule is going to start to get a little easier. We're going to start to see a lot of the teams that are where Toronto is right now in the, uh, in the table 
Uh, so perhaps we may be able uh, we may be able to get a more uh, rounded sort of uh, understanding of where this team actually is. Now Justin Braun and Darren Russell. Uh, let's talk about Mr. Russell first. Uh, uh, you know, it's kind of bizarre world. Last week it was the uh, it was the draw instead of the win, and Russell was the goat. This time it's a draw instead of a loss, and Russell is the hero. So it's completely bizarre world. Uh, to see that actually happen, but uh, it's really good to see that uh, Nelson stuck with him, uh, that Nelson actually got something uh, in return for his uh, uh, for his faith, and I think that in and of itself uh, is going to go a long way. Uh, the previous regime, uh, you know, directly or indirectly threw a lot of players under the bus, and uh, yes, this team has to get a lot better, and yes, there's going to be a lot of players leaving uh, in order to make this team better, but you don't throw your players under the bus. You hopefully stick with them, uh, uh, and if they're good professionals, uh, they they play hard. And there's a bit of luck. Hey, we can see what happens, like we saw uh, uh, on Saturday, and that was one of the nicer goals that I've seen from Toronto. I've seen in a long time as well. That goal came from a beautiful crossing ball from Justin Braun, uh, who actually also scored the first goal to get TFC back in the game. Of course, they were down two nil for uh, uh, most of the game, and uh, Braun comes on late. Uh, uh, as an attacking uh, substitution uh, and uh, uh, scores a ball on a uh, scramble in the box and then the ball that went to Russell for that 20 yard, 25 yard screamer was probably as good a ball as the, uh, the shot itself. It was a beautiful cross field ball. Russell actually one time, uh, uh, you know, does a one touch and bangs it right in the net which is really, really good to see. So yeah, five games in uh, uh, this team is probably doing a little better than uh, a lot of the pundits actually thought they were going to do. Let's not fool ourselves though. Overall, the performance, uh, uh, you know, just looking at the 90 minutes uh, was very poor. They were very brittle at the back. Uh, Bendik was normal. I think he's going to be on the Pines uh, this week and I think Fry is going to be between the Post and Philadelphia for the next uh, away game on Saturday afternoon. Uh, I think up top they were very poor as well. Uh, one of the things that Robert Earnshaw, uh, who didn't really have the greatest of games uh, on Saturday, actually has done, one of the things that Earnshaw has actually helped this team with is he's been poacher extraordinaire. He's uh, actually scored uh, goals, whether it be the penalties or whether it be the goals that he scored from open play, on arguably some of the very few chances that Toronto has scored. The conversion rate that TFC actually has between the goals uh, the, the, the goal opportunities and the goals has been relatively very high uh, until Saturday passed where a lot of those goals didn't go in. That's down to a real lack of creativity in the midfield. And I, I'm thinking obviously that the new striker and, and maybe more especially the new midfielder that's coming in from Argentina that we're hearing about could go a long way towards giving this team some guile uh, and some creativity in the midfield to give players like Earnshaw and the new striker, and Braun, and Kuvermans, and uh, uh, you know players of that ilk, uh, the opportunity to put more goals in the net. Uh, uh, Russell may have actually cemented a fullback position for a while. Uh, I've commented before. I think Ashton Morgan has been a little poor uh, uh, by his standards for TFC so far this season. So I think uh, it's going to be Russell's job to lose for a while. But again, we'll see uh, what happens on Saturday. But there you have it. Five games in. Uh, TFC is not on the bottom of the league. TFC has been competitive uh, and uh, yesterday uh, uh, they actually managed to secure a point uh, where thousands of fans that were actually leaving the stadium early, you know who you are, people that were leaving the stadium early didn't really give them a rat's ass chance of uh, actually pulling something back. So to the people that actually left the stadium early, i got one thing to say. That's it. That's what you get for not staying supporting your team. Thanks very much for watching and you guys have yourselves a great week. Cheers.